Welcome to Steal the Show. It is myself, Justin Steele. We got Meek Phil, Liam in the back. And I want to start the podcast off right away. I'm just, for right this second, I'm not talking about the Cubs. I'm talking about our boy, Justin Steele, is absolutely shoving, shoving right now. Last game, seven in the third, two runs, nine Ks, I think it was. The game before that goes into the seventh again, two runs. The man is shoving and I don't care about the rest of the noise until later in the podcast when I talk about how upset I got. But regardless, our boy is shoving. How are we doing, Justin? Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, got me some Phil's coffee early in this morning. Look at that. Uh, pitched last night, early morning for me. I, I have a hard time sleeping. If I throw a night game, I, I usually stay up like all hours of the night that night. I, I did that last night. I, I have a hard time falling asleep. And then I usually like if I do fall asleep, I wake up as like as soon as the sun comes up. It's it's kind of odd. But is that's, that a, you know, adre- that's adrenaline, though? Yeah, that's adrenaline. It's adrenaline. hundred um, percent. Especially nights like last night where like I like I pitched deeper in the game. So the adrenaline's like pumping like later in the game, even when I like get home from the game and stuff. So I notice it more those times rather than like when I go five or six innings. But um, yeah, I appreciate that introduction. That was very kind of you. Uh, I've been feeling good. Arms feeling good, feeling healthy. Um, yeah, was in command last night. Made two mistakes. They hit them really hard too. So that's what happens. Hey, mistakes with nobody on though is you can win yeah, every. Yeah, can... so that was that. Remember that was kind of the deal. Uh, earlier in the season when I gave up the homers like every time I was giving them up it was like right after like a dink single or yep. something like that so like I was getting tagged for a ton of runs so Listen, yeah you can live with that every single time two solos no matter what is is good right now Phil has to leave for a second I have to jump into a pool of bananas but he has to go jump into a pool of of about 400 bananas yeah I'm okay. seeing this live time right now <laughs> Could we get a live feed on the pod while this is happening? Um, Harrison, can you give me a video of live video of him? Like, put a video of him from here to there and send it to me so we could show Justin. Um, yeah, so that's just live happening right now. He's going. There's 1,200 bananas in a pool, and they're making Phil go jump in. Is this a uh, gimmick for the office for the, for today or something, dude? I have no idea. I was just sitting at my desk, and there's all the interns were just peeling bananas. And who uh, organizes this stuff? Nobody. Someone. There's got to be someone organizing it. Someone just did it. Some someone that works for uh, a podcast was just like thought it'd be funny, and they just did it. And I'm like, I just don't. And there's no goal to it. There's usually a goal to things. So now there's just people. Phil's about to go into a fucking banana pool. I guess when you're in the like content creating realm and there's like dry periods, like no sports on or anything, yeah, you got to come up with shit. Come up so with I kinda, something. I kind of respect it. I kind of respect it. Yeah. Do you know who Mike Frances is? Uh, he's like a New York radio guy. Like he's one of the famous. I feel like I, I feel like I've heard that name. You definitely have. He's a if famous. If I saw the face or heard the voice, I'd probably know it. Exactly. He's a famous. His son is like an intern here. That's the guy telling. Like I could only imagine him going back to tell his dad about like yeah, there's a I peeled twelve hundred bananas today. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll get you that video whenever, uh, whatever I, I get it. But I actually had a question. When I think it's crazy, but to have you guys play. Sunday night baseball and then yeah. travel to San, San Francisco is fucking crazy for me. Like, uh, just, yeah. just like traveling wise. I don't understand no. that. Like give the day off the next day. Maybe does that fuck with you a little bit as like you're pitching? Well, not, like, not me because you know, like the team and I, you know, I'll, I flew out early. Oh, okay. So, That's what I was going to ask. So you didn't go yeah, to the yeah, game. Yeah. You didn't yeah, go yeah. to the like, game. I, I, was te- I was texting you and stuff while I was traveling and whatnot. Got it. But, um, yeah, like the starting pitcher, especially if it's a night game, like we had Sunday night baseball, it's traveling all, all the way to San Fran. So I was already in the air by the time the game started. So I got in at 
a decent hour, was able to like get to the hotel, get some food in me and go to bed at a, you know, good hour. Um, for the guys, but you know, normally if I wasn't pitching, I would, you know, be with the team and, you know, yeah, the team got in at like three or 4 AM to two, between two and three, probably didn't fall asleep till like three 30 or four. Like, dude, it's rough, man. And my, and I, I believe we didn't have that game as a Sunday night baseball game originally. I believe we got like flex to that somehow. Like they like ended up pushing us to that. And yeah. then it's like, yeah, but the day after we're traveling to San Fran. Yeah, it's like, like <laughs> get, also like give us the day off. Like it it makes so much more sense if that was a day game and then you have all day to travel to San Fran, yes. get in at a decent hour. But no, now we're getting in at four and we got to play that. Literally, like that day. Yeah, the game was at what six forty yesterday. Yeah, it was supposed to be at six forty, but we had uh, the Willie Mays um, tribute. Um, by the way, just want to say a quick thing. You know, respect and condolences to his family and all that stuff. Um, Willie Mays was one of the greats, uh, one of the best baseball players ever, um, and was a lot more than just a baseball player. Uh, uh, you know, especially being in San Fran around this time, um, I, I see I, I see exactly how much he meant to this area, this team. Just you know, hearing the different things people were saying, like when I was warming up um, before the game yesterday, like this is kind of cool that I was a small part of this. But like while I was warming up, they had like Barry Bonds on the board, like a bunch of people that knew Willie, you know, saying just all the nicest things about him and. It's just, it was just really cool to be a, a small part of that moment, and yeah, I just want to take some take some time to give my respects. For no, that. of course, because I watched on like the stream. I, I they you can watch that like the ceremony before, and it's it's so cool. Like Willie Mays is the he's the guy, you know. Like he's everyone. Even dude, he's what he he passed away at ninety three, and it's like when I was a kid, we had kids in center field running catching a ball like this like over their shoulder and shit you know like yeah he and was everyone like, knew that was the willie mays catch ever, and and no, it, like i knew that was the willie mays catch before i had ever even watched him play or like knew anything like didn't you know, know anything saying? about like, willie mays that in itself should explain exactly how exactly big an impact he had 100 percent. because again like when you're eight years old i don't know the history of baseball and willie mays playing and like and you're still, like you said, your boy does this. Like, oh, Willie Mays catch. It's like crazy how much of an impact. Exactly. I, no one, no one's ever going to have almost like that much of an impact on the game. And, and, and to speak on that as well, Ryan Sandberg had his um, his uh, tribute the other day. He, he, his statue was un, un – uh, they showed it for the first time at Wrigley the other day, and the team was out there to watch it and everything. Which was very cool to see the whole team. Dude, it was there. super cool to be – again, super cool to be like a very small part of that. You know, just being able to be be there to witness it was really cool. So um, what I was going to say was, like, to have moments like that where you're literally like this Willie Mays catch, like Ryan Sandberg has a moment like that where it's like the Ryan Sandberg game. Yep. Like where it was like on national television back WGN, like when, you know, every game wasn't being aired. So like when a game was aired on national television, it had all their – all eyes were on it. So it was like that perfect setup, and he had like a game. I, I believe it, I, I'm gonna probably miss speaker. It was like five for six, two homers, like won the game, and it's literally called the Ryan Sandberg game. So like any time you have like a moment in history where like literally everyone knows what you're talking about, yep, and it has your name attached to it, like it's like it just kind of shows the total impact you had on the game because like you don't even like we said we we had no idea anything about Willie Mays' career, but at a young age, we saw somebody make that catch. We're like, "Oh, Willie, nice yeah. catch!" So, so, those things are just super cool. Did uh, was was that moment like? Did everyone be like, "Oh, let's go watch this," or like, would the council be like, "Hey, this is happening"? No, no, no. no. We we had it scheduled like on the schedule. Like, cool. hey, everyone meet in the locker room at this time. We're gonna go and like you know pay our respects, go watch the uh, statue be unveiled. Yeah, because so, it was dude, cool it was really to see. Cool. Like, I mean, dude, it was literally there. it gave me chills. Like, I. I yeah, you know, as a baseball player and as a kid, like, dude, you want that. Like, you you 100%. want like obviously you want to be great. You want to make it to the big leagues first and do all that. But like, you want to be the greatest. Like, you want to be as the best you possibly can can be. And like, dude, it's awesome to be able to witness 
this history like that. Like it, it literally, it, it gave me chills and it was like motivating. It almost brings you to a point because sometimes I'm sure you can relate to this at some point in your career of pitching like with Barstool, right? Like I do a lot of, there's a lot of cool things that I get to do. And when you first start, you're like, this is the best thing in the entire world. And sometimes you don't take it for granted, but you're like, it just comes normal for you. And then mm -hmm. something you do restructures the brain again and it's like you need to really realize like how cool it is to be part of something that's happening in history or how cool it is that you're doing this right now you know has that ever happened to you no. where like you're pitching every day and it's like your job and you're you've been playing baseball for your whole life so it, sometimes it doesn't sometimes it probably is just like i'm playing baseball but then something like that happens you're like holy shit this is like crazy that i'm like yeah. part of this right now you know yeah there's Obviously, those two moments we're talking about, um, and then like, I I've had another moment this season. I've actually it's been happening to me a lot. You've more uh, this. I'm not making light of any situation because obviously I, I've I, we just said pay our respects to the family, but the fact that like this happened again on your start day, every <laughs> start day, dude, you've had even your last start, Willie Mays passed away in the middle of it. Like, it's not it like <laughs> every start, dude, has been ev something crazy. A monsoon, Paul Skeen's first day, first start again. Like, every day something's happening when Justin Steele starts. <laughs> yeah. I puked yesterday before my start, too. So. You puked no. before you start? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I I took my I I take, like, daily vitamins and stuff, and I took some daily vitamins and was, like, drinking a hydrator. Before, like, as I was moving around stuff, and it just didn't set right with this, this stuff, and it just came back up. And dude, <laughs> the, the trainer like comes around the hallway. He's like, "Dude, are you okay?" Like, I was like, "Yeah, I think I'm good." Like, I think the hydrator and the just vitamins didn't go just, down. just didn't set right. <laughs> felt better right immediately. As yeah. soon as I got, got it out, as soon as I got it out of me, I felt great. <laughs> hey, I think there's a. Uh, I think it's Josh Allen throws up yeah, before he, he every throws up before like every game before every game so hey maybe you and josh hey you both both are doing pretty good so i mean <laughs> the throw up keeps happening it's all right <laughs> I've, I've done it a handful of times just like where i try to get something on my st like because you don't eat, you don't eat a lot right you said when you pitch yeah i don't eat a lot i try to get something on my stomach and it just doesn't <laughs> go the way i want it to and it just comes back up <laughs> you had a hell of a day yesterday <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Marty. Um, hey, I work hard. You do. No, you do. You do. It's honestly, it's been cool to to watch your starts and see how each day, each game, you're even getting more comfortable. Like your and your arm feels fine. Even throwing, you threw like what 105 oh, dude, yesterday. Great. Yeah, I feel great. And you, I was happy you went back out for the seventh. You only had about 85 pitches, I think, at that point. The eighth. Um, the eighth. Yeah, sorry, the eighth. Oh. <laughs> No, yeah, the eighth. Um, but yeah, speaking of, we gotta talk about the game now because you pitched great. Um, also, shout out, I forget his name again. I wrote in there who who's the reliever that came in after you? Tyson Miller. Shout He's out, been, shout out Miller. Shout out Tyson, a uh, original Cubs draft draftee. He was with the Cubs that. originally. He's uh he's had quite the adventure getting back to the Cubs. Um, dude, this is, it, as a friend, like I, I was a teammate of his. It's awesome to see him like having this kind of success at the big league level. You know, he's a he's a good friend of mine. I played with him and stuff in the minor leagues. You know, we grinded together and whatnot. So it's awesome to see like him come back to the Cubs and yeah. like have the success he's having. He's got a wacky wacky delivery. Like yeah. I, I've, yeah, it is. obviously is what's helping. It fucks with the pit, the hit or whatever. He had two big outs. Unfortunately, the bullpen, uh, some some walks, some some bunt hits, some crazy shit happens in the ninth. Not good stuff for the Cubs. Obviously, there's we we're, we're not we're not a it's not even an elephant in the room. It's what's happening right now. People are frustrated with the Cubs. And the Cubs are frustrated with the Cubs. You know, like, that's what fans probably don't understand. Like, you guys aren't just – it's not do-to-do after the game. Like, it's its not good right now. It's silent in the locker room, no? Yeah, it is. And, I mean, dude, like, dude, we want to win. Like, uh, dude, there's nobody that wants to win the ball game. Like, 
especially more than me. Like I, the days I pitch, like I'm literally giving everything I got out there to win the ball game. Um, well, you want you want one win in your column, you know. <laughs> I'd like to see. Like I said, I, I'm doing everything I can. <laughs> I, 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 what's funny? So, so we were texting about this. It's funny we had this discussion with a uh, uh, Dave Portnoy um, about a year ago. Honestly, when I came to New York and when I came on Pick Central with y'all, and Portnoy <laughs> was like, the first thing he said to me, like, I, I was like, "Hey, I'm Justin. I'm Dave. Whatever." He's like, "That was the first thing he talked about. Was like pitcher yep. wins." Because I, I believe at the time, I forget how many wins I had at this time. I had a lot, a decent amount. And he was talking, he was, and he asked that question. He was like, Would you rather be 10 and 1 with a 5 or 0 and 10 with a 1? And I was like, I'd, be, I'd rather be 0 and 10 with a 1. Like, <laughs> doing my job, like, it's just not going well. And like, it's literally like <laughs> happening. Yeah. I mean, like, no. Not, and like, like, it's just like, no, it's just it. the hypothetical is happening, which is funny. Where like to painting the picture, Justin's not lying. We were in, I was taking him around for a uh, taking him around for like a tour. We were in like the snack area in the kitchen, and Dave walked by, and I was like, "Hey, Dave, this is just letting you like this is Justin Steele." He goes, "Oh," like he like clicked that it was you. He goes, and he didn't even see. I don't even think he said hello. He was just like. Would you rather you eight to whatever ten wins you had at the time? Or yeah, the, he, he asked it immediately. Yeah, and, and then one ERA, and then you're like, well, one ERA is giving my best team the best chance to win. Yeah, five. I'm doing my job. Yeah, and like, and doing your job. Five is I'm doing a horrible job, and my team's That's picking me job. up. Where it's like five bad jobs. Not very good. That's <laughs> not very. Good. Not very good. <laughs> um, but it was just funny now, where it's like. Yeah, maybe you will take some wins. I don't know because it's getting crazy out here. I don't know now, but obviously you want to do the best you're doing. But you're basically at like a three flat now, um, yeah. Which is awesome. It's a it's listen, baseball is a team sport. It's also a very ind- a very individual sport. You got to do your job, what you can control. Obviously, you want your team to. Because uh, the thing is, though, I. S- you got sparks going on. I want. I want. You know what? I'll, I'll do this. I'll go into the Cubs locker room. I'm gonna go into the Cubs locker room. Give the boys a hype up speech because I'm gonna tell you something. The pieces are there. The pitching, the starting pitching is there. The bullpen just needs to get some confidence. Get some confidence, fellas. Dansby, he's getting going. When he did this yesterday, he did the this to the that. That got me excited. I'm on the couch fucking going. <laughs> Little getting excited about his double. Ian Happ, he just needs to smile one more time. This one time. He hits a double. He's, he's, he's just like, I, it's my job. Get excited, Happ. I need the boy. The, everything's there. It's just you got to finish. There's so many. Everyone's like, oh, the that? Cubs need the bullpen. The Cubs need the – yeah. You just <laughs> just got to grab it. <laughs> You just got to grab grab those castanas and fucking go, you know? I just want to grab all of them, all Everybody the boys. Balls. I want to grab Everybody all the balls, the balls and just be like, boys, it's there. Because that's where it's frustrating. I see these fans like, we need new this, we need new this, new this. Sure, the trade deadline's going to happen. You don't know what – you have to tell your control, but there's the pieces are fucking there. And I'm telling you that one game when you score 10 runs and a bunch of shit, all the fun's going to start happening again, and the boy's going to keep going. I just need to tell the boy. I, the, the boys need somebody telling them, hey, it's all right. I want me to tickle your balls for you. I'll tickle your balls for you. I'll do whatever you need. Have a little fun out there, fellas. <laughs> Right, I I would appreciate that. I can't speak for everybody in the locker room, but I would appreciate it. I, I just got a kick out of that. I, that was that was great. <laughs> That's what I was. I went to bed very upset last night. Rhea Rhea was like went to bed like ten thirty. She's like, I gotta go to bed. I, I was like, I'm gonna be out. I gotta watch. Oh, she stayed up to watch. She was staying up to watch. Yes, she's a. Oh, she's I, that, that. That really means a lot. That, yeah, you know, as a family, as a unit, y'all are staying up to watch. A hundred percent. Rhea's a Justin Steele fan. No, like no, like no, no, no flack. Like y'all are in New York. That's across the country. Like that's a big time gap. No, a hundred percent. And she was like, I appreciate. It. I appreciate. Because that. listen, we're we're 
we're friends now. You know, like your wife's Ooh. fantastic. I met you, son. We are complete. It's like you're my boy now. So I'm. I need my boy to fucking shove. So I'm watching. She's watching. I love that she's asking me questions about like, oh, is he gonna come back? I fucking love it. But yeah, I went to bed last night. I'm like, these. I I've been in situations. I've been on some really really bad baseball teams. Bad. Like you guys are not bad. I've been on the worst baseball teams of all time that you would laugh at. And then sometimes it's just like the fellas, you forget because it's when because you know you guys are so good, you just got to have some fun. Once that clicks, the good thing about baseball is you're three games out and you have like 70 more games left. You know, that's the good thing about baseball. But it's that is the beautiful thing. I get the frustration about everybody. Yeah, there's a long there's I understand it. I understand the frustration as well. Yeah. Um, is, is Phil coming back or is he like getting the banana? So juice? that's so what Phil, Phil just called me right now and he asked that I could bring his backpack to outside of the bathroom where there's a shower and he just reached out soaking wet. So I need to. I was, dude, I was just <laughs> thinking, I was like, Phil's actually probably like covered in like banana juice. Justin, like, I just, uh, just right this second, watch the second video I just sent to the, to the group. Did he go through? There's one that's like a really yeah, small it just, video. It just no, the second one. The second one that's going out. Uh, Liam, we might have to put this into the podcast on. Yeah, we could do that on Rumble on YouTube yeah. because this is not going to for the our audio listeners. I'm sorry, but watch it on on video for this clip. Justin's watching Phil just be covered in fucking oh bananas. Oh my god! Right I just, now. Got it. I just got it. he looks fucking disgusting, dude. He looks gross. He's getting wheeled around. He's got banana. What is it? Chocolate all over him too. Is that his phone? His what? He put his phone in there. What is wrong with him? It's all the browns. So it wasn't just bananas. I guess it was some chocolate in there too. Dude, that's making me like almost want to throw up. So Justin, before you before he came in here, he was like, "I gotta go." In this banana shit, I was like, "Why?" He goes, "I don't know." I wasn't gonna say no. I Why go. are they taking our podcast <laughs> away from us? I said, "Yeah, dude." I would never. Who are these say- interns? It's not even an intern. It's fucking. So I don't even know who's the one who asked him. I gotta ask. I don't even know. He can't come. How's he gonna go home, dude? Is he about the clothes? He's got to get out of the clothes here. He brought, fucking... he brought a change of clothes he did, had in his bag. I guess. He knew he was know. doing that. Did today? he know? I yeah. have no idea. It seems like he Hopefully he now. can come back and... and I need uh, answers. Yeah, seriously. Um, let's talk a little bit about uh, MLB across the board. Let's talk... We, a little topic came up on Pick Central, actually, where the MVP race in the NL is interesting because right now it's basically I would say two people and it's Otani and um Harper. The funny thing is about mm-hmm. Otani where it's like you took half would half he, wouldn't he be wouldn't he be like the first DH to win it since like the sixties or something? I don't think a DH has ever won it. Really? I'm like ninety five percent sure we looked that up already. That a DH has never won it. Like David Ortiz came in second a bunch of times. Um Liam I wanna if, say it has happened. Liam, let me know if, if you see anything if you could look that up back there while we're talking, if a DH has ever won the MVP. Cause I wanna say I was I was watching a segment on ESPN or something yesterday and uh Somebody was talking about it. I forget who it was, and they were saying it happened. I want to say in the '60s, maybe. And he might have not been, like I, I don't remember the specifics of it, but like Otani yeah. is like strictly a DH. Like all this guy is doing right now is hitting. Yeah, so that he is still the best player in the world. It's like crazy, like, bro. The guy when he pitches. Is also the best pitcher, <laughs> one of the best pitchers in the world. Yeah, not he better than you, but still. He throws a hundred and he hits the ball four fifty. Like no, like it, it's insanity. It's, it's like when you're how good he is. It's like, like when you're ten, dude. When you're ten, there's always that one kid that pitches, plays shortstop, and like is amazing. And then it phases out when you get older. Like, dude, people are gonna people in this time in this era are gonna be so upset. 
so mad that they like didn't pay more attention to what Otani's doing. Hundred like, percent. Like it's like it's it's literally the modern day like Babe Ruth. Could you imagine somebody back in the back in that time or era like not knowing who Babe Ruth was or like not caring, not wanting to watch him, any of that? Like you'd be upset if you missed any of that. Like people are going to be upset that they're missing what Otani's doing. It's literally like he's the best baseball player ever, and uh-huh. it's like we're in the middle of it. And I'm glad, honestly, now I'm glad that he's on the Dodgers so more people are seeing it. Where, like, sometimes with the Angels. He's literally only doing half his game right now. It's crazy. Like, he's only only hitting. He's only hitting right now. You don't have to comment on anything, but I just need to bring up this one thing. Do you you know your announcer's names for on the Marquee Network? Yeah. Why? I forget their names. That's why I was. I don't want to. I'm not trying to slight them and forget Luke, their names. Luke and JD. Yeah, they're. I actually think they're really good. I, I truly yeah. do. One of them was like they were going through the schedule of your guys playing, and he was like, "Oh, we got the Angels." And one of the your, the co-host was like, "I gotta be honest. I forgot the Angels were a team." <laughs> I was dying laughing like during this. Like it was so genuine. You don't get that out of announcers sometimes they're so straight up about it and it was the one who used to play i forget what well jd uh, used to pitch jd yes it was jd and he i was laughing my ass off him just being like gotta be honest forgot that angels exist and i was like I, you know what that's not even a slight it's just funny sometimes you don't pay attention to a team You're like oh forgot about the angels you know because trout's yeah. not playing otani's gone like obviously there's guys on there but it was funny um but it was we were th- talking about this MVP race because obviously he won the uh, MVP last year. Um, mm-hmm. And he was also pitching at an incredible, like he was insane. This year he's, you take half of him away and he's still the best at what he's doing. But it comes down to Bryce Harper is also having a fucking unbelievable year. I don't know their numbers off the top of my head. I'm gonna look it up as I talk right now. But so I don't want I don't want to say one or the other is having a better season or anything because I don't know I don't really keep up with baseball that much. You can't. Like, Our stash coming. Especially back. this. Especially the specifics of it. What was you saying, Liam? Our, 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 our sack guy's coming back. I just saw Phil. He's he's soaking he's wet. Phil is just, his hair is soaking wet, and he's coming back because I'd rather him look it up. But he's coming in right now. Uh, <laughs> he looks lost. He's coming in a second, but I'll look. He's, he's coming. <laughs> Phil, sit down. Sit down. Do you smell? Smell? No, I don't want to smell you. I don't want. I don't want to smell you. I don't want to smell you. Well, you're, you're smelling. Me. You, you smell. Yeah, you smell disgustingly like a banana. Honestly. Oh, I'll be on the New York City subway. Yeah, you smell like a banana. Um. <laughs> first of all, how was that? I mean, I was asked yesterday. Uh, do you want to jump in a pool of bananas? And I felt like when you work, you don't really have a choice on these things. So. I've what done- was in the bananas? Phil, hey Phil, you're in a spot where you can. Say fuck you. <laughs> or, I, I, I yeah, but I didn't want. You to. I'm not supposed to be. I'm not supposed to cuss. My mom. You could cuss. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I've tried. <laughs> I shout out to that first guy, the first pot. I've been trying to curse a little less. <laughs> yeah, I've been, I tried to because like I got a nephew and my mom listens. But anyways, <laughs> Phil, around that office, you've got some. You got some. You know, some leeway. You can tell people no. How was it? Did you like? Yeah, it? it was fun. <laughs> yeah, see, I think you fucking like. As long as you enjoyed it, as long as you enjoyed it. How many people get to say, "Oh yeah, what did you do for work today?" Well, I jumped in a pool of bananas with uh, John Feidelberg and. Uh, you were in there with fights. Yeah. <laughs> it's a kiddie pool with, and fights is a big boy. <laughs> He's a strong guy. Um, you don't, you know Feidelberg or no? Mm-hmm. You'd love him. You guys would get. As soon as if, I saw, if I saw him, I might would recognize him. Yeah, you would. Him. As you as would. As soon as pod's done. I'm going right home and showering. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, we're talking oh, about the, uh, me, you like the shirt I changed into? Can you see it? What is it? Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, I, dude, your, your t-shirt game is impeccable. It's just all graphics. I keep a track. He well, doesn't know. I, keep I love track. that. I'm into that. I'm well, into it. Marty, I started the show with a plain black t-shirt. You, you did? It was planned. You did? Yeah, I didn't want to get, get one of my good you shirts. You didn't want to get your good shirts. It's <laughs> plain black. Um, so we're talking about the MVP, uh, the MVP race. Can you bring up the stats for 
uh, Otani and Harper because we have one Otani's b- incredible, Harper's – they're both incredible, but Harper is playing – this year, people are saying a gold he's playing, glove he's first playing, base. Is, he, is uh, Harper only playing first base? Yeah, he's only playing first base. But he's playing the field every day. Otani's not. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I think that's yeah, where the yeah. argument of people are like, how you give it? You got to give it to the guy who's playing in the field as well. But then it's also like Otani's fucking doing everything. He's also like hurt. Like if you think about it, he's hurt. His arm is hurt, but he could swing the bat and he's still doing. It. So what's the compare the stats for us? Let's just go right off War to begin with. Otani 4.3, Harper 3.5. Okay. Do you, do you care about war as a stat? Or? I don't, but people do. Oh. I I have to care about it because yeah. it's how you get paid. maybe – Yeah, it's kind of how I get paid. So Is I that one of the main about. things that they care? Obviously ERA, but like war – Dude, I don't care. agree with it. I, I Like I don't like how it's – I think there's flaws in how it's accumulated, and yeah. I think there it's – I think they're constantly messing with it as well to adjust it however they want. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, I, I don't agree with how it's being accumulated, but it's also how we're getting paid. So I kind of have to care about it. So, but I mean, yeah, f- what was it? F- you say f- 3.5 to 4.3. Harper yeah. at a three point five playing a position. Notani's a four point. It's also different with pitchers and position players. So like I, I really don't know the specifics on how it's accumulated with this fucking guy just keeps hitting my mic. It's truly <laughs> incredible. Why don't they eat chocolate syrup on my neck? I thought I got all. No, I don't think so. Uh, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little chocolate syrup on my neck. I mean, but for <laughs> position players, I don't know how it's really, you know, counted up. For pitchers, I kind of have an idea. I, I don't necessarily agree with everything on how it's accumulated yeah. for pitchers. You can really speak for position players. All right, what's, what else? Uh, home runs, Otani has 23, Harper has 19. Okay, so that's basically – that could be that could end up at the same. Then average, Harper's at 303, Otani's at 318. Slow, OBP, Otani's 395, Harper 401. So there's no, really no, like, substantial lead in, like, any category. They're all they're kind of even. So at this point, if you had to give the award who's, – Who's, like, the next guy? Who's, like, the next guy behind them, too? Ozuna, who has like a thousand OPS, also a DH. Yeah, that's a yeah, it's a crazy thing. And that's the thing, though. In What's my his mind, is his, is his numbers comparable to theirs? Yeah, bring up Ozuna. In my mind, I'm giving it to Harper because he plays the field. Hey, Ozuna's swinging it. Hey, yeah, he, he is. He, he's swinging it. He is. I mean, yeah, he's hitting 314 with 21 homers, 985 OPS. It's basically what Otani's doing at the plate, like almost a mirror image from the right side. That's crazy. Yeah. But if you had to, if, do you have any thought? Like, do you, if you had to give it so, someone right now, um, if I had to give it to somebody, if I had to give it to somebody right now, to. Harper because it, Harper because he's playing the field and they're the best team in baseball right now. I believe I don't even know the records well, off the, the top of my head. The Yankees are the best team in baseball, but I, let's slow it down. I feel like what a lot of these awards is they aren't. Who has really the best record right now? The I'm pretty sure the Yankees. Okay, oh, but sorry, like winning I percentage. I, so though? I, I actually do. Don't keep up with baseball. No, like people that, are so. people. Are, there's losers online that do like winning percentage instead of like actual. Fifty-two and fifty-eight. Phillies are fifty-two and twenty-six. Okay. okay, so it's basically the same. But regardless, um, I would give it to Harper as well because one, I I love Harper. I'm a big Harper guy. He did laugh at me the first time he met me, which was a little sad. Which a lot for of me. people do. Yeah, that's also fair, you know? So I was like, it was fun. Also, the fact that he even acknowledged me was like, all right, I fucking love this guy. It was on, <laughs> bro, he walked on he walked on Hardy's uh, bus when we had a concert like a, a year or two yeah. ago in Atlantic City. He was like, one person was like, hey, Bryce Harper's here. He's like, he'd love to meet you if he wants. And Hardy's like, uh, yeah, dude, I want to meet Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper comes on the bus just – looks says hi to hardy looks at me and goes huh. and we're like that <laughs> like a point and then he dapped me up after i was like i don't know if i should be offended or that was the coolest thing in my entire life my brother's like my brother was there too he goes dude that was, bryce harper just said hello to you what the fuck and it was like the coolest thing ever but also he was probably making fun of me which was awesome um but i i but honestly I, I think i think it's a compliment that he like he knew who you were exactly like, that's all i'm taking you know that's all i'm taking good um, or bad yeah 
But I'm giving it to Harper. Who are you giving it to? But he's giving it to Harper as well. I, right now, I'd probably say Harper just because, like I said, you have to play the field, in my opinion. I don't think a DH could ever win the MVP unless – Don't say ever. No, I'm not going to say ever. It's just you – I, I use position as a tiebreaker in a sense, whereas yes. if there That's isn't a, oh yeah, in this, there, in this there, sense, if yes. there wasn't in a guy like right neck and neck, I, I would, think there's always mostly gonna be a guy. That's neck and neck that plays a field, then that's why they're never gonna get. It. Well, not never say never because like if you think about it, David or if David Ortiz didn't His get finish it, was second, and that was in like an era where and he was unbelievable. They at voted one for point. MVP in a, like a different way. They didn't look at war back then. Yeah, either. yeah, that's also true. Yeah, um, but you can't really say like, did we did we find out if it's ever happened? It's oh never, yeah, it's never happened. Yeah, it's never happened. I think the closest uh, from is, confirmed. It's confirmed. It's never happened. Gotcha. And then I, I thought I heard somebody on on the air say it happened in like at the sixties or something, but I could have misheard something. They probably was saying somebody that like played a position, but DH sometimes I mean, or something. We're not counting Otani just because like he pitched. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, he DH in eighty one percent of the games, but like he was a pitcher. <laughs> Pitch, yeah, that doesn't. Yeah, matter. um, but yeah, like I could, I mean, dude, imagine if somebody had a Barry Bonds like season, but only DH, like they'd win it, they'd win the MVP. Hundred percent. It'd be interesting. Yeah. It's interesting that it, I just never thought of it that way. Like the DH never won. I thought that was crazy. And then the AL. Uh, by the way, did we see that clip of Barry Bonds being asked if he oh, faced yeah, if he faced Satchel Page? Yes, and, and he was just like. <laughs> Taking him deep. <laughs> I kind of love that. I, I love, love that too, dude. That Barry Bonds like, was uh, appointment television when I was a kid. Oh, I was dude. It was like I'm watching every. I just love that. Con- like he still has that confidence. Like I'll take anybody deep right now. I tell you, I tell people that good when you have that confidence. You didn't get a job. Got intentionally walked with the bases loaded <laughs> because that was the best option. Yes, that's crazy. Like that's a that's joke. Crazy. That's crazy. Um. And then the AL. Well, man, Barry Bonds in his last season hit, I think it was 132 RBIs, 28 home runs. Like, he was 1,000 OPS, and he couldn't get signed after. Yeah, that's insane. Like, no one insane. wanted a 43-year-old Barry Bonds at DH after he had 1,000 OPS. Bro, I feel like I could take Barry Bro, Bonds for a team what? right now. <laughs> Dude, he could have hit 800 homers. He could have hit 900 homers if yes. he wanted to. Yes. And the AL, though. We got Judge Soto. We have what's a guy? Quan? Stephen Quan. Oh, he's, he's batting like four hundred, dude. He's not qualified. I think he missed some time, but like it is insane. He's batting insane. Like it's cra- that, Like, but Judge is also. Is he like a, is he like a lot higher than uh, Arias right now? Stephen Quan. He's hitting three eighty nine. So it went down. He was hitting about four hundred a week ago. Three eighty. What about Ar- what's Arias hitting? I checked it was 315. Let me just double check. So Arias is always like a good – Yeah, Arias is always like a good comparison for like the league as far as like – he's like the Tony Gwynn of today's era. Like the guy is always going to hit 300. There are some people on Twitter that say like, oh, Luis Arias isn't a good player because he only hits singles. That's and insane. It's like the dumbest like argument. It's like if a guy's hitting 311 well, – why, don't, why, don't why don't you do it, pal? Yeah. Why don't you go hit some singles? It's like the dumbest argument. It's like, oh, he only hit singles. Idiot. Yeah, <laughs> that's just so stupid. I hate when that's, – that's Phil's yeah, friends yeah, on the internet. I don't think would, that That's way. Phil's friends on the Everybody internet. Everybody would do it. No, I'm not saying you. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not coming at you, Phil. I'm I not am. coming at you. <laughs> like, yeah, if I get a 311, I would. Like. Well, I, they didn't give me the chance. I, I, I would have. Um, they, but they also – you have <laughs> – Party, your swinging and Arias' swing is two completely different things. Uh, well, I cannot wait to face you. I've been watching. I watch Dude, film on you every you. five days. I'm hit you. Now yeah. that we're friends, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> I'm going to make you not want to hit. Give Marty a little chin music. <laughs> um, but we're talking about Aaron Judge had a fucking dog shit April. Dog shit. People are like, oh, what's going on? He is now batting 300. 28 home runs. He's which is 28. 28. He's on pace to have like 60 again. Yeah, leading the league in home runs. F- What's seven- the record? 72. Well, it's Aaron. It's Aaron Judge has the record. Yale at, record 62. At 62. MLB record 73 by Barry. Yeah, but yeah, that's the record, right? Yeah. Like well, well, some people don't like to say it's the record, even though I agree it is the record, but. 
Aaron Judge technically has the record right now at 62. But – um. Oh, so under Barry, Aaron Judge has the next most yeah. in a single season? Yeah, right? No, no. No, no, for AL. For, for AL, Aaron Judge has a record. But Why are you just counting the AL? <laughs> because, because Marty only counts the AL. It's Aaron Judge's Marty, record. You're, Marty, you're actually confusing me right now. <laughs> I know I am. I know I am. <laughs> okay, Mark McGuire had 70 and Sammy Sosa had 66. Thank you. That's what I was Yeah, thinking. that's what I was like. Marty's like they all Marty's play like, in the yeah, NL. Like, Judge is next. <laughs> no, because Marty forgets, like, Aaron Judge's home runs. Well, what's the common denominator of uh, Barry Bonds, uh, Sammy Sosa, and Mark McGuire? They're all really good hitters. And had steroids. Some people don't believe in those uh, records. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, Aaron Judge, seventh most homers ever in a season. A lot less cool when I say it that way. Well, he has 28 this year when he had, like, one in April. He's got 70 RBIs, and he's got a— He has 70? Yes, <laughs> and his OPS is uh, 1,100. <laughs> so, okay, so he's on pace for, like, 130, 140 RBIs. Yeah. For like, 60 home runs. Barry Bonds did that in his last season, and nobody <laughs> recently did. That's actually pretty crazy as well. Like judge it like it's nuts. Oh wait, my, my apologies. I was it's not, nuts how that great. was not RBI. That was walks. <laughs> <laughs> that was walks. Well, it was a, it was listed in bold. I mean, I you had 60, how many RBIs? Sixty six. All right, twenty eight well, home runs, sixty six RBIs, thousand OPS. Like he should have been. Sorry, sorry. So our sorry, stat Aaron, guy, but, yeah, our stat Aaron, guy is Aaron, oh, uh, Aaron Judge. I'm sorry. You're slander to the well. Yankees. Yep. But those 132 walks still led the league. So he led the league in walks. No one wanted to face him in his final season. Yeah. So it's Aaron Judge is the MVP right now of the AL, correct? Who, who, would, who would be next up for the AL? Who's like in second or Bobby whatever? Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt probably like Soto's probably I, I kind enjoy of, watching Bobby Witt play. Soto's probably close in a way. Like he's batting 305, 18 home runs, 56 RBIs, 994 OPS. Like he's having a, a pretty outstanding year too, like back to back with them. Dude, how much money is he gonna make? Is that is he a free agent after this yeah. year? Yes, he's gonna probably make over six. I think yeah, six maybe push. I'm not kidding, Justin. If they said give him a billion dollars, I'd be like, yeah, that makes that's, sense. There's no amount of money that Aaron Judge, that Juan Soto could sign. Oh, like, yeah, he's that's too much. He's 25. He's 26. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> it's, it's nuts. Um. All right, let's I'm get in. You. You're Sorry, losing I lost this. Y'all. I lost you for a second. Uh, that's one thing you're gonna you're gonna have to say something, Aaron Judge, to me. <laughs> you know, like, hey, I've never the, I've never smoked Aaron Judge. I've I never know. met him. Yeah, but the, the good thing about it is Wrigley Field, you, they come to you, so you're at home. So I'm so, hey, hey, Aaron. He liked one of my twi- Twitter videos once, so we, we're basically best friends. <laughs> I mean, though, I feel like the the best way for me to go about it is like through Scott Efros. I think him and Scotty are pretty good friends. You're a, you you know Scott Efros? They were teammates, Marty. I see. I don't. I'm a Cubs. I'm a Cubs fan in 2024. I went to Scott Efros's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> me, and, me, and, me and Scott Efros are great friends. So let's get Scott. Is he? He's coming back. Is he? Is he hurt this year? Is he coming back? Soon? Tommy John, yeah, he's coming back right now. He had a rehab assignment. Okay. So Scotty Efros is coming on the pod soon then. Yeah, I would like he would definitely do that. I'm a big. I mean, yeah, any Yankee is come. Any yeah, dude, me and Efros are like really good friends. We played in the minors for years. We I went to went to his wedding. Like I I flew from Mississippi to like where his wedding was. So like great friend, great friend. All right, I'm an Efros fan too. So I we need him in the bullpen. He's the man. Was, Everyone loves Efros. He was traded for what was Newski, right? Was Newski? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah, F. Ross will be on the. We we need we need some guests soon. After we come back, we'll get some guests. Um, I have a lot of commitments. Like I have I have commitments. Yes. From guests. No, I know we do, and things have been getting moved around and stuff too. We're gonna be off next week. I'm going to London. Uh, Justin, you like London? Yeah, I love London. Yeah, you know it's a great place. I love it. Uh, it's a pitched, great. Hey, I pitched well in London. <laughs> bringing you're bringing baseball to, to uh, London. That's great. Yeah, you got to expand the game. That's what it's all about. <laughs> you have to. And I, <laughs> what listen, are you I'm, doing? <laughs> I'm going, no, I'm going to London. I'm really excited to go. I'm going for a so week. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with uh, I'm going with Rhea and my. Uh, I'm actually going with my uh, one of my best friends from high school and his wife. 
He just broke his ankle, though, so that's a downer. <laughs> London's a walking place, so it's tough. Be but sure you have the connector for to, the to wall the, socket. For the wall London. socket? Yes, I will. I will have that. It's you just be... try to put your iPhone charger in that wall. It's not going to work. Done. Yep. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm going to London next week, so we'll be back the week after with uh, everything with the pod. Uh, I still think it's on American to go to London during the 4th of July. You it's more up. American because we took it from them, you know? Well, why are you going back? To show them, like, look, we, I can come here now <laughs> on 4th of July. Morgan Wallen's having a concert in London on 4th of July. Is that American or un-American? Yeah. Kind of un-American, right? Yeah, un-American, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I don't know. It could be. It's either really American or, or un-American. I mean, what's what would you think? This is a good question, I guess. Where would be the most American place to perform on the Fourth of July? Wow, it would be Toby Keith, probably. Uh huh. In like Texas, <laughs> like I don't know. Like, yeah, I was thinking. I don't know. Why I thought American Florida. <laughs> Florida is America. <laughs> I've been to Talladega. I'd put that on. Oh, there. Yeah. Dude, oh that's yeah. America. That's America. Yeah. That's America. That's America. All right, we'll do it at that. Toby Keith at Talladega. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a NASCAR race. And then Joey Chestnut in the middle of the infield doing hot dog eating contests. By cool. the way, what is the hot dog contest doing? So like they said he can't compete. Great that you bring it up. Wait, should I call him real quick? Should I call him real quick? Why fast? are you getting rid of like Literally, the viewers like everyone watches for Joey Chestnut. Yeah. Justin, I'm calling him real quick. Who? Joey, Joey Chestnut. Chestnut. You have his number? Oh yeah. There are a dozen teammates. Let's see if he answers, I'll tell him. <laughs> well, he's just slamming hot dogs right now, Marty's just calling him. Sometimes he doesn't answer because I ask him a lot of. The wireless customer you are calling is not available. Please try again later. <laughs> did he give me the Did he give me the F U button? <laughs> Or is that a new number? <laughs> Dude, that might be blocked. <laughs> He's my guy, too. Oh, no. <laughs> well, regardless, his last text message to me was, uh, he was like, the Major League Eating is like coming after him for doing a small meatless promotion he's doing with impossible hot dogs so he's just trying to get paid on the side he's not endorsing okay, but, okay but who's who's paying him more like it, it like is the major league eating people like is are they paying him a salary i'm sure they do but i think if that I, as much as he if they're not paying him as much as these other people though then they can that's the thing this is his living you know it's not just yeah, the fourth of july up. he also it's like it's basically like Le if what LeBron wants to do, they're, Le they're LeBron gonna does hurt, it. They're going to hurt worse from cutting him off than he's going to hurt. Like, like that's think, that was kind of my point. Is like, why are you getting rid of literally the reason everyone watches that? Like, you think I want to watch? For I'm not going to watch Fourth huh, of July. This I don't. Year. I don't care about anybody else eating hot dogs. Oh, they're going to eat 50 hot dogs. This guy was eating 80. Yeah, <laughs> I, like, don't I don't care, care about the 50. Like, I'm sure they're great athletes, whatever you want to call it. Sure. I watch Joey Chestnut. Yes. Um, like, I can't believe that move by them. It was insane. Like, he's literally, he is America. That's, he's America. He's America. That's what it's all about. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, let's, let's, let's finish. Joey Chestnut, too. What a freaking name. Great. And, yeah, he was on, so we do that, that dozen thing that we I showed you. Sure, yeah. you, you watched in Chicago with me. He was my original teammate, him and Keith Yandel, who was a uh, ex NHL guy, and Joey. Joey wasn't great at trivia, but one day he didn't show up, so I had to replace him with David Andrews, the center for the Patriots, and we won. And then I had to I had to drop Joey, so maybe he's a little mad at me too. <laughs> Dude, if if this major league eating company or whatever keeps fumbling this and they're like just gonna not have him on barstool should just take over the hot dog eating contest and have whoever wants to rival joey chestnut if you think you got like because he's the best he's unrivaled he's the like undeniable he's the best eater hot dog eater in the world if you have him say barstool went and got him like you could literally just have 
the hot dog eating contest, and it would be Barstool's thing. Justin. My, Everyone would watch it because of Joey Chestnut. My last text, text message that was not answered was to him being like, yo, let's do our own. Let's do our own 4th of July eating contest. Have it with people at Barstool. Anyone, anyone that wants to do it, we do it, air it on 4th of July. We would outperform yeah. the Nathan's Hot Dogs for sure. A hundred percent. Yep. And people it, don't watch that for – People watch it for Joey Chestnut. Uh -huh. like, Did you see that there's a documentary? I don't care what brand's hosting. I don't care if it's Nathan's, Oscar Mayer. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I care about Joey Chestnut. I want to see that guy slam glizzies. Yeah. Throat <laughs> rockets right down the hatchet. And did you see that there's a there's it's Kobe, they're doing a Kobayashi versus Joey Chestnut in September on Netflix? No, I didn't see that. That's there's real bad blood there. Kobayashi, you remember Kobayashi, right? I do who Kobayashi. Kobayashi was. was Joey Chestnut before Joey Chestnut. They would be, it would be them two eating like eighty hot dogs at a time, and then they would fight. They would literally fight all the time. It was like the biggest rivalry in Emily and in, in Major League eating. Joey Chestnut's the goat, though. <laughs> yeah, I know he's the goat. I'm, I'm with you too. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, anything else? Baseball. Oh, last thing, throat baseball goat. wise. What is Joey Chestnut the throat goat? <laughs> Yes, he is. I've never even when he eats. Is he okay with? I mean, if he's okay with it, he, I'm okay with it. He should be like the way he eats. Like he's, he, I think he's got like more teeth than a normal human being too. I feel like he's got he's just got more. He got added teeth when he was born. Also, how do you know? Like, how did he figure out he could do that? Dude, I don't know. I always wonder that. Like, me and my brother, feel? oddly enough, like my me and him were just so competitive. We used to like get our meals, like like our dad would cook us our meal, steak, potatoes, corn, whatever, and like we'd be like go, and we would like see who could like eat. eat <laughs> yeah, that's it. just you know, we would have a or like our bowl of cereal in the morning. We'd do the same thing. Like I don't know why me and my brother were like that, but because guys are the stupidest people in the world, and we love that shit. Like I love that's, yeah. I, me and my brother do the same shit all the time, but then. I just can't eat it much. He would beat the shit out of me in that all the time. Yeah. Um, but last last baseball thing before we go to our draft, Edwin Diaz, 10-game suspension. A good question out of this. We don't want to talk about you about the – because there's murky waters with everything. There's You can't have the spider attack. Spider attack is banned because uh, the whole thing, everyone knows about spider attack. The other part is they give you rosin. So that's what he said he was using, and it just it caked up on him, and it looked like it was more sticky than it was. In my opinion, his hand looked like it was stuck in Aunt Jemima's uh, bottle, and it looked like it was it, he came out of it right out of that. But Phil actually had a, a good question. I would like your opinion on it. Do you think that the suspension for that should be the same throughout for every pitcher, or starting pitcher gets 10 days, a relieving pitcher gets five because, like, obviously 10 games for a pitcher is only two games, and 10 games for a reliever say, is basically you, like seven. You could, you could say that would be more harsh to a starting pitcher than a reliever because a starting pitcher would be then missing 10 to 15 innings possibly. Maybe I mean, if he goes two CGs, that's 18 innings. A reliever – in 10 days is probably going to get say he pitches one to two innings every other day. That's like, especially you know. a closer too. a closer is not pitching unless they go on. a Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you're, I mean, you're right. It's, it probably shouldn't be the same amount of days for both. Cause it's weighed differently. Like a, like I said, a starting pitcher is getting a lot more innings in 10 days than a relief pitcher is. I think it should um, be the same. A Phil reliever, doesn't. reliever, I can't speak. A reliever can affect like seven games. Like, yeah, it's an inning a game, but it's like that's seven games you could swing one way or the other. Whereas yeah, but pitcher, you pretty much you're going, you're saying game. you're saying it's it's the other way uh, to what I'm saying. Think, I'm saying it, I'm it, saying it's more impactful for a starting pitcher because yeah, that's eighteen. It that could it. potentially be eighteen innings of baseball they could have impacted. But you're looking at it as a reliever could impact but it affects each, one each game, individual game. It affects one game as opposed to early yeah. seven games. I, I'm on yeah. your side. Yeah, I, I definitely I get both sides of it. I, I, I yeah. get I get both sides. That's why I think it's an interesting question because I I'm on your side. I think this innings wise, it's it. Also, I think 
starting pitching that really messes with your rhythm too of now missing mm-hmm. two straight. You have to, you're because then it's also it's not really ten games. You're probably gonna have to like you don't know when that next start's gonna be able like to come. A, like there's like an appeal process and yeah, you know, all that's too. And like when the ten games are up though, it doesn't mean you're gonna pitch the next game. It might because another guy was his fifth day is up. So it's like when do you fit yourself and it could be like basically 13 games then you know but meanwhile closer comes back he goes right back into his position um but yeah edwin diaz is hey fella you had a two era you went to z you got hurt unfortunately and then now you have a four then you come out with that you gotta be a little more smarter i don't care if he did it with legal stuff i don't give a fuck what he did it with when you look at your hand, that umpire would have got fired if he did, if he just looked I at the also, hand and was like that. There are some cases where a pitcher's allowed to wash their hands. In some cases, there's not. Like, I think that's, that's just the, up to the umpire, right? That doesn't make sense to me at all. You're I don't get that either. If it, yeah, that's making sense. Do they do they check you before you go out? Yeah, it's it's like random. They'll check me on my way to the mound. They'll check me leaving the mound. But not all. Not ever before every start. Or what do you mean? It's like I was like, before the game starts, do they check you before anything? Like yeah, when you're starting you, before pitcher. Before you throw a pitch, do they check you or only after the first inning and after like the third or whatever? I mean, yeah. I mean, not for me usually because the start of the game, there's like, I don't know. There's like the antics of the game. There's like the national anthem. There's the music videos yeah. that are usually playing at home, at home. They're like when I'm the first pitcher, that they usually don't check when I'm like the first pitcher that's pitching because, like I said, there's like the video playing, the umpires are still usually at home plate and stuff. But yeah, other than that first inning at home, like they'll check you on the way out, they'll check you leaving the mound. Speaking um, of Phil, what's the antics he's talking about before the game? The national anthem. Yeah, what else? What else goes during that? The music videos. The yeah, what else? The players' introductions. Oh, the first pitch. Huh. The first pitch. The Cubs did – they did tweet at me. Took it upon myself. I, I went to the, the media team and I said, hey, Marty wants – he still wants to. Wow, that's big That's big news right there. Hey, this isn't going to sleep. This we're, is big news. We're going to keep poking this bear. Because let me tell you, there's getting a little traction on Twitter being like – especially when there's some losses they're like just throw them out there we need something <laughs> throw them out there we'll get some wins if i'm the reason why the cubs start winning if i get this opportunity i'm gonna first of all i'll be so nervous i'm gonna have to throw i'll be nervous i'm gonna be the one catching yeah don't you're gonna nervous. catch right you well, will don't be, yeah don't be again. nervous don't be nervous i'll be the one catching it you're fine you can you can literally smoke me in the chest i don't care can we have a catch before the game <laughs> no <laughs> can we play catch before the game no. <laughs> I'm gonna be so you're nervous. You're gonna happens. do it like everybody else does. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, listen, hey, look, we're not letting it go to debt. We're not letting it die, Justin. Because they said, did you see? They tweeted at me. They, the Cubs, the yeah. Cubs followed me. The account followed me, which I was me. Because of me. Because you. Like, hey, <laughs> we're doing. This. And they did we eyeball emojis. We have a date. What? We have a date. So Do you want to release the date? No, 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 no. You think so? You this is gonna happen? This is gonna happen, Phil. Yeah. What I mean, we you know what? I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Um, this is crazy stuff. Froze this on is, me. Sorry, guys. It's you're freezing. good. You're good. We still. Let me see know when you. you can hear me. Think if I throw out the first pitch, so I get a uh, my own Cubs jersey. Yeah, we can get you your own Cubs. What do you want on the back of it? You gotta have. St- you just gotta. It has to be my jersey, right? <laughs> yeah, just steal us. Yeah, Marty. it's still thirty five. <laughs> That'd be kind of sick. You have to. Yeah, I could do a jersey swap with you after. You just keep yours on. And I just give you. I just. I just give you my shirt and just Marty. go out there shirtless. Marty also if you had a jersey, what would your number be, Marty? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. That's uh, who is that? Is that Bush? Who's twenty nine in the Cubs? I saw somebody yesterday that was, was twenty nine. That's why I forget. I don't think anybody's twenty nine. I could have sworn I saw that someone was twenty nine. I'm so Unless bad it's... with numbers. Um, Our research could, guy has got bananas I could, from brains I could, right I now. I could be wrong. I don't think anybody's 29 on the Cubs. It's not hard to find a number. <laughs> Is it hard? I feel like it's really easy. You just go to the roster. Michael Bush, number 20. Bush. There we oh! go. There we go. I knew, I knew that. Before him, well, was... Actually, I thought he was 26. That, that makes sense before... to switch it around. Yeah. Before Bush, it was Shelby Miller in uh, 2021. 
Yeah, 29 was always my Shelby number. Shelby Miller, good friend of mine. I love Shelby. 29 was growing, always my number growing up. And then it was always easy to get because everyone always wanted 2, 23, like 21. 21. So, 21. Everyone so, like, that. I'll give you a little story on like 21 as a family number. So, I literally have it tattooed on my body twice. 21 is like a huge family number for me. My grandfather played basketball at Southern Miss. He was he was assigned twenty one. My father played football at Alabama. He was twenty one wide Your receiver. Your dad played football at Alabama. Yeah, you didn't know this? No, you never said casual. that. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah, an eighty four wide receiver. That's wild. Yeah, that's. I thought I told you this. No, that's why I'm a diehard dude. I've told you this. This is why I'm a diehard Alabama fan. Yeah, I was gonna say he's from Mississippi, and he. Root for Alabama. Why do you think? You know I'm- what? I now putting that together. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Like I didn't have a choice growing up. I was. I had to root for Alabama. Like, yeah. Alabama was like the way. Um. Anyways, my dad played football at Alabama. He was 21. My brother played college baseball. He was 21. So like I wore 21 when I was growing up. When I was a like junior, sophomore, junior in high school, my grandfather never knew or like never really got to know his real father because he died in the Korean War. And uh-huh. ni- he died in 1950, July 11th, which is my birthday and my son's birthday, it, which is crazy. Wait, That's crazy yeah, in itself. You, you, I forgot you said that, that you, your son has the same birthday as you. Yeah. So, so you'll never have a birthday it's, again. It's also, it's, also the same, it's also the same day that my grandfather was killed in action in Korea. That's crazy. Anyways, it gets better. We're – Sophomore, junior in high school. Um, My grandfather never met him because he died in action and he was a baby when he died. Um, We get this stuff in the mail from him. It's all his like war medals, Purple Heart, all this stuff. Like he had a bunch of accolades and whatnot. There's a baseball glove in there. I'm pretty sure he was, I'm pretty sure it was a left handed glove. He was a pitcher. He He played professional baseball while he was in Korea serving. And was number twenty one. He and we didn't know this. We what? knew nothing about him until like years and years later. And it just so happened that he was number twenty one. And like it started like my grandfather was assigned twenty one playing basketball. Bad war it and like it just then we get all this stuff in the mail when I'm like a sophomore in high school. And there's like a picture of him like in his professional Korean uniform while he's over there serving. He's like playing baseball. And he's like number 21 i'm pretty sure it was a left-handed pitcher and it's just great like he passed away on the day that i was born 50 years later or whatever but like it's just crazy like i get chills like that's thinking about actually it. insane that yeah. things happen for reasons too like there's that always i know that that shit's wild but wait so your birthday is july 11th yes 7-Eleven free Slurpee at any 7-Eleven and gas station on my birthday so your birthday is july 11th your son's birthday is july 11th and yeah. as of right now, you're pitching July 11th. Yes, I pitched last year on 7-Eleven too. How is that? That's weird. <laughs> yeah, that, last year was the All Star game. How? Well, yeah. Now you're you're facing the Orioles this time, and you're lined up to pitch the 11th. And I will remember that for obvious reasons because well, that is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a fucking story. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I try to tell people that when I get a chance. Like, it's it's nuts how the world works, how numbers work, how all that stuff yeah. just ends up. Um, but and yeah. now I'm 35. <laughs> yeah, now I'm not 21. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Let's, uh, let's go to our draft. So today's draft is uh, – I want everyone involved in this one. We can just do – we could do three each. Yeah, Liam, you're also involved. Um, I, I need one one on this because after the first one, I don't know what I'm going with. Yeah, you get one one. one, one. But it's okay. uh, the the draft today is best inventions. It could be, okay. and when I say best inventions, it could be something that's so small to you that you're like, but it's so I just love it. You know, there's so many things. Like even think about a microphone. That's a great invention. Honestly, it could be up there. You don't know, but. You you start first. Electricity. Yep, that's uh, that's a good one. You yeah, know, that's the overall consensus. One I one feel one. like that's a pretty good one. Did you know 
that my Halloween costume when I was about 12 was Ben Franklin. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. You haven't had the pleasure telling me that yet. And also, did you like, I feel like he didn't, I get so confused with electricity because who created it? It was always there. We learned to use it. Like, what? Because, like, I mean, yeah, like you just got to. What the fuck are you talking about? It's always there. Ben Franklin was the one with the kite and the key, and he got electrocuted. Thomas Edison, Thomas Edison didn't well, do the kite. That's what I'm saying. That's kind of why I'm saying it was all, always there. Like he used like the lightning. lightning. Like yeah, and we we just figured out like you know what I'm saying. And guess what? I don't think Thomas Edison was the first one to do the light bulb. No, he wasn't. I don't know. I'm not a historian. Me neither. I'm just saying but electricity's huge. <laughs> That's all I was saying. <laughs> I don't even know who did it. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right. But you're, I'm right, right? Yeah, you're right. Electri uh, Thomas Edison wasn't the first one to do the, the, the light, bulb. light bulb. But everyone thinks that because he made the first like affordable light bulb. There was someone else did it before, but it was like thousands of so much money. And also, this might get taken, but the toilet... The guy's name was John Crapper. Crapper? Yeah. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That's great. Uh, well, you know what? I'll give Liam number two. Liam? Um, just right off the top of my head this weekend, I would say air conditioning. Fuck! I'll that was my... There. That's, yeah, that's needed, elite. I needed a good this it's weekend. Elite. That was it's a good one. That's my head. Elite. That popped in my head. I mean, dude, it's incredible. The fact that you can just get really hot and be like, oh, let's turn on this fucking air conditioning. Let's condition the air real quick. I went to the mall yesterday. 75% of the stores were closed because the air conditioner broke. Hmm. Wild. That was wild. All right, well, I'm going through that. I'm, the th I'm going GPS. I think the GPS Ooh, is. That's is, a good one. Yeah, that's I think a, that's it's, a good one because I remember like when we would go on family trips, like my mom would print out a ton of MapQuest. Yes. Yeah, you go on MapQuest. It's like turn left. Like on. Did you ever use MapQuest? Yeah. They yeah. didn't have printers in Mississippi. It's a prehistoric way of thinking. I didn't, dude, I didn't have internet in my house until like after high school. That's insane. <laughs> That's dude, yeah. I had to go to my Mimi. Like I had to go to my Mimi's, like miles away, to like play on internet. And just uh, anyone, everyone, just like everyone know, Justin's like Justin's younger than me. You know, he is. What are you? Twenty eight. Yeah, I'm twenty eight. Yeah, you're young. I, which is crazy that you're. I'm older than you. Which yeah. is ridiculous when you think about it. But yes, I'm thirty. Justin's younger than me, and he had no internet until you were sixteen, fifteen. I mean. I literally like I had to go to my Mimi's to like use internet. So like I, I don't remember when my mom first had it. <laughs> That's her house. crazy. Phil would Phil would. I don't die. Really remember the day. I, I mean, even when I still go home to my mom's house, like the internet she has, I like complain about it because it's Spotty. so bad. <laughs> yeah, it's like like we like I live in the middle of the woods. Like I'm in the middle of the woods woods. Like, Truly, when we do that home and home thing, like when I take you to Long Island or around yeah. here. And we go to Mississippi. I need Phil with us because I would love where I'm at. Y'all would love where I'm at. No, I would love it. I think Phil. I'd, Phil, Phil, Phil would love it too. I would make him like. I, I think he'll it, end up like. I, I would it. make it enjoyable. Yeah. yeah, I know you would, but I do think like what like, first Phil going to Mississippi with like where it is like it's everything spotty. You'd be like, what the fuck's going on? I mean, I went to North Dakota. Yeah, it's it's, it's true. I'm a sippy, but that's true. Um, all right, Phil, what's yours? I'm surprised it wasn't taking internet. Yep, that's that's like, well. That's, Phil is gonna take that. You know, that's we got something. some great answers going. Good I answers, know. good answers. All right, Phil, you go up again though. Um, the I hope nobody takes mine. The I got cable a good box. One. Cable box. Yes. So you basically right now you're just you're just taking the stuff I use every day. Things that, that occupy your time. Yes. <laughs> I've, I've been. I feel like someone's gonna steal my pick. Go, whoever's going. Honestly, it's. I'm gonna be honest. I want you to you go right now. Oh wow, are you, are you trading your pick? Yeah, no, don't I, do that. Don't all right, do that. All right, all right, all right. That's not how it works. Right. I can't do it. Well, I, yeah, I got some integrity. I got Yeah, I have to have. You know why I was letting you go? Because I got to fucking think for a second. Trading your pick for a first pitch. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go number two. Is gonna be. You know what it's gonna be? The refrigerator. Oh. 
I, a refrigerator really is you 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 take it for granted. You take that thing for granted every day. Imagine not having a cold a cold drink. I'd be upset. I, w- I would too. <laughs> Liam, uh, I was gonna go with the shower. Okay. Just think about before yeah, that. That's that definitely. That's, <laughs> yeah, that people are really stinking in the 1600s. <laughs> yeah. All right, the shower. Liam was a shower, and I, you know what? I like that. Kind of, that kind of goes into what I, I feel was way do better after a shower. Is it my turn? Yeah, it's yeah, your, your turn. turn. I was gonna say plumbing. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's also. Yeah. yeah, not you don't have to shit in a hole anymore. And, uh, and, shower, plumbing. I feel like it's kind of. You, get the, oh, that's you fine. get the toilet. Yeah. Yeah, you get yeah, the toilet. toilet. Yeah. yeah. You get John Crapper, Liam gets the uh, gets the shower. All right, you last one now. It's up to you, Justin. I gotta stop thinking. Oh, the cell phone. Yep, yep. That was pretty stupid. We didn't say that. I see. I think I'm. <laughs> I feel like I'm thinking like way too deep into it. Not what like do you use name. every day? I have a pretty. Good, I, I had a pretty good list. I went electricity, plumbing, <laughs> cell phone. Yeah, you're probably gonna. Yeah, you probably will win. <laughs> Mine's. I'll go. Yeah, you're up. Yeah, I'll go camera. Yep, the yeah. camera's oh, pretty cool that's too. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah, the camera's pretty cool too. So can I go with Wi-Fi? No, because that's the same thing wifi. as the fucking internet. I like Wi-Fi and internet. He said internet already. <laughs> yeah. The, can I tell you why? Uh, uh, the thing I'm thinking of right now. Say it. Say it. Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Bro, I love Oreos so much, bro. I love Oreos so much that, that I'm so thankful they invented that. <laughs> so what's your three? My three are uh, refrigerator. What was my first one? To keep your Oreos cold. Continue. <laughs> yes. What was my first one? GPS. GPS, Oreos, and refrigerator. Find the Oreos. Got it. And Justin, can you do me a favor, actually? Yeah. You're going to have to. Do, if, we're friends, right? Yeah. You'd say we're friends. Liam's, we're Liam's friends. would say we're friends. Phil, we're friends. Yeah. Yeah. We were acquaintances for a while. Yeah. Now we're, we're, we're the friends now. Yeah. You got to try. A, uh, you got to bring an Oreo in the shower. No, that's disgusting. You don't eat in the shower. No, you have to. This that's is, disgusting. This is a friend thing. Oh, why? Take the sh- take the Oreo. Dunk if it. You a say li- with- dunk it a little bit in the shower. Dude, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and pop it in your mouth. It's absolutely. Bro, nah, I'm gonna throw up. Stop, <laughs> Justin. Bro, you- shower water is not that good. That's literally. You see the pipes that fucking sorry Bro. I'm cussing. The 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 water is coming out of and you're putting that on your Oreo. I need I'm I'm nothing bringing you can do with say right. What do you do? There's nothing I'm you bringing can do someone right. into the show real fast. It's Hubs. He's a big baseball guy, lo- big fan of you. Are you here? Yeah. Come into the radio room for just literally a minute. All right. Uh Phil, wait, do your last one, then we'll Xbox three sixty. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's don't filth. Don't don't just say Xbox. Say gaming. Okay, ga- <laughs> video every game system ever. <laughs> I just went with the oh, one oh. I played the most. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah, I yeah, hear you. Yeah, gaming. Don't said. just say Xbox though, because you need, just say gaming. I said Xbox 360, but Phil, stand up for us just real quick. I was a PlayStation guy, and I feel like that's a slight. All I was. Right, a, so we'll do I was PlayStation, there. and then I turned to Xbox. Cause, here, here's my mic again. Um, was Xbox and I was oh, PlayStation yeah. and then oh Jesus don't sit down don't then sit, that's don't just don't disgusting oh my God can you see that can we zoom in on that that is disgusting he's wiping it with his hands bro did he tell you guys he jumped in that thing with his phone yeah. oh you jumped in the bananas yeah dude. Bro, the fact that we're looking at like banana sweat and we're about to talk about Oreos in the shower I'm gonna throw up I'm gonna so yeah just stand, stand up for a second hubs yeah, by the, okay. definitely don't sit in that uh right. what's up justin justin this is Actually, hubs bro, what's happening dude? what's up what's up how's it going um we did a podcast yeah we still we do did, a podcast did. um did you did you ever try the oreos in the show oh yeah 100 percent. and what was your thoughts it's fantastic <laughs> 
it's it's deranged. It makes you feel so stupid. Like you're just like, damn, I listen to Marty. Like this is a problem, no, but it's, it, like, but it's it actually it's, gross. It's like actually gross. Kind of nice. It was really good. It's, right? it's actually I don't... gross, dude. The water that is the water that is coming out of those pipes is disgusting. Okay, that's Espe- fair. That's especially fair. in New York. No, we got, New York. we got beautiful yeah. water in New York. We got beautiful. Oh, oh, come we on. got good bagels because of the water. Yeah, the water's our bread and butter. That's <laughs> yeah, kinda... it gives that it gives it that taste, that little grit. That's why those bagels are good. The pizza the pizza dough is good. It's got that like natural grit flavor to it. That's so the only thing we have. A little water. metal taste. Right water's there. all we got. Yeah. That's all we got. That's all. That's it. All right. Well, you, have you done the Oreo thing? No, he's he's. Dude, I, I will never do. No, that, you dude. have to. If if you could see, if you could see a compilation of anyone that Marty's told us to, it would just be you a hundred times, like your your exact reaction, and then you try and you're like, damn, I hate to admit it, but he's not wrong. And he would no. love Hubs would love to I'm have never, tried it. And be I'm like, never you're a moron. Going to try. I'm never. No, I'm no, never. no, no. You have to. Okay. What? I'm okay. Not going to. Okay. What about this? If we get to by the next time we record. We're at 890 subscribers on YouTube. I don't give a shit. No. <laughs> I love that. I love that. If we get to 1,500 by the next time. I don't the give time. a shit. It could be any number. I, I literally don't give a shit. I'm not like, I don't want to eat an Oreo in the shower. I don't. Like, you ha- you do it. He's like, ha- next start, if he gives up more than like three runs, yes. he's got to do the Oreo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I then I get to watch you out there like fuck I have to ignore you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Would be <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> All right, well thank you, Hubs. I appreciate it. Thanks. Sorry for almost having to sit what in. Was, what was Phil doing just the there? Phil just like awkwardly like walked phone. off. Like his phone was covered in bananas. <laughs> yeah, this Phil. Is a special kind of Phil was just standing next to him with a. I see his butt. His ass is just completely wet of bananas. This episode is just outrageous episode. <laughs> Liam, were you able to see the seat? Yes. Oh, yeah, I zoomed in. Oh, oh, dude, I can nice. still see the. Yeah. It's an outrage. Like- Whose seat is? Oh, is that who sees that? Smitty's. <laughs> oh, it's even better. It's oh, also man, rich. I think Clemmer, Clemmer needs to sit in that seat now. Yeah, Clemmer. Clemmer I actually, no, that is Clemmer's seat. That is Clemmer's seat. Yes. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, that's the show. Listen, the show, I, I love the show today. <laughs> well, that's the show. That's the, that's show. the show. We got to get the fuck out of here. This was a great episode. Um, I'm, I, I have no words for that episode. I have no words. We got into some good baseball stuff, too. Great episode. Good baseball I enjoyed, stuff. I, I actually enjoyed, I enjoyed that episode. It was a fun time. Justin, I'm going to get you to... I'm just gonna like send you a video the next time and be like, "Hey, look!" I'll even do it before I go in the shower. Before I even shower, I'll turn on the shower on. I'll put it under the sink. I don't I'll- think you understand. Like, I actually think that's disgusting. Oh no, no, no! I, I understand. So I see it in. I see it in your eyes. How much yeah. you are like this is disgusting. Liam, will it you is. try it? Like, I have a yeah, I have sure. a shower head <laughs> in my shower care. that like filters the water. Before Me too. Like- Me too. I changed yeah, like that. I, yeah. I, I can't stand yeah, like I'll the way it. pipes on and stuff. Like it, it, it creeps me out. All right, so next show I'm having Liam and Meek do it, and then we'll report back. And I want honest right. opinion. So I want you to do this because this is a process. The process is, and as a, if you're a Barstool fan, this is for non-Barstool. I've I've said this before, so I'm not trying to repeat myself, but I know he has never heard me say it. But you have Liam. Make sure you got this down. All right. You have a you have a Oreo before you go in normal Oreo just dry dry Oreo. Dude, this is making my stomach like <laughs> actually amazing. Then you have you leave an Oreo on the counter in in the shower while you shower so it gets smoky. You know you get a smoked Oreo, and then you have yeah, the bro. one in the or you have the one in the shower. You dunk it in the shower, little little, little nice little soggy, right in right in the mouth. And then you have the smoke, Doria, when you get out. All right. Sounds like a <laughs> three-course meal. Yes. A delicacy. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the... <laughs> All right. I'm losing you. Lost you. Lost you. I, I'm back. You You're back. But, yeah, Justin Justin may throw up the next time we talk about this. But, yeah, you got two weeks to do it. We'll I be can't. back. We'll be back next week. <laughs> I'll look at your starts whenever we do it, but uh, appreciate everybody. If you can, did we, cover, did, we, did we cover everything? Yeah, I think so. Right? Did, when are we announcing? 
What about your first pitch? Are we actually going to announce it, or are we? What, We're going to announce it around that. We're going to announce it next episode because I need to make sure it's next really. Ha- yeah, next episode we'll announce everything of what's going on in that world because it's crazy. The fact that it's that it's even possible will be something. But because uh, I want like my, my raw reaction on here, like when it's coming, I, I want it. It's crazy. It's crazy that we're even fucking talking about this because this is a. I mean. As a kid growing up, being want to be a major league baseball player, and I'm throwing, the, I could maybe be throwing out the first pitch at the probably the most historical. No, maybe you're doing, like, dude. You're you're literally. That's, it's not a maybe. That's like, you cra- got the okay from the Cubs. All you got to do is all you got to do is show up. That's like, crazy. That's insane. But yeah, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that next episode. Um, yeah, Oreos, Cubs, and uh, first pitch next episode. <laughs> and yeah, if you can subscribe <laughs> to the show. Uh, if you subscribe, that means me and Justin can do a lot more. Go to Chicago, do a live show. Justin did a live show with Haps Podcast. You told me there's like 400, 500 yeah, people awesome. there. It was awesome. You were out there as a guest yeah, in front of people. Awesome. You had... it was in a theater. It was, yeah, it was in a theater. It was really cool. You were talking with the boys after to meet some people. Did you meet anybody there? Yeah. Some fans? Yeah. I might, oh, dude, I met a I met a ton of Cubs fans. We had, it was like a uh, chair, uh, Cubs charity thing that we were doing. So I, I was the entire day. I was like meeting, shaking hands, saying That's hey awesome. to everybody. And then that night, I like closed it out with like doing Happers podcast. The get the guests, the uh, the crowd that was there, they were awesome. You know what? That's when we'll do it. You having water Oreos at our live show? <laughs> I'm starting to lose you again. I'm sorry. You hear me right now? Should I just go for my hot spot? You're, we're about to end yeah, anyway. I mean, but, okay. Okay. Sorry. But yeah, maybe our live shows when we'll they'll they'll peer pressure you into a water Oreo. Oh. <laughs> I I'm almost respect how much of it's a, just a no. <laughs> like no, I'm one of them people. Like if I don't if I don't want to do something, I'm not doing. Not it. doing it. <laughs> not like Phil, who's just just has a banana on this fucking seat now. Yeah. Uh, all right, that's the show. But, yeah, subscribe to uh, our Rumble. Subscribe to our YouTube. Subscribe to the Twitter, whatever you can. Shout out the listeners. You're, we're getting a, we're, the show's getting better better each episode. I love you guys. And also, shout out that, uh, that little girl, the fan, who gave you the Steal the Show. Oh, yeah, shout out. I appreciate wristband. that bracelet. Um, a girl made a uh, Steal the Show bracelet for me. Yeah. Um, it was really awesome. cool. It was like it was one of the moments. It was like, man, that this is cool. Someone enjoys the show enough to like make a bracelet and take the time out of their day to come give it to me and stuff like that. That was a really cool moment. Yeah, it's cool. It's like you make an impact as a player, but also like being a person on a podcast talking about things and entertaining people. It gives you almost a different like yeah, meaning totally. to things, you know. Also, during that beautiful moment, Phil just went on his knees to clean the seat and was just like, "Yep, that's sticky." <laughs> that's it. And that's what you get out of this show. Chaos. This show's fucking chaos. I don't even know how long that show was, but uh, I on loved the, it. We, I, it started at 1. <laughs> or 11. started at 11. It's almost 1. I love it. I love it. All right, that's the show. We'll see you guys uh, in two weeks now. See ya. See ya. No idea. Martin. Joey. What are you doing? Uh, real quick, I, I want to talk to you off air for after this, but you're on my podcast of uh, Steal the Show. It's with uh, Justin Steele, a starring pitcher for the Cubs. He's a he's a big fan of yours, um, and you were talking about like Fourth of July, obviously, right? Yeah. Are one? Do you think you're gonna do anything for Fourth of July? You don't have to answer if you don't want. We can cut anything out of whatever you need, but also like. We were talking about how you are America, you know? Like, what, what, what is America? It's Joey Chestnut. Like, we need him eating hot dogs. And what is the, what's the situation at right now? Just more like you can't, they're they just they are not happy with you? Yeah, it, it, it's not even that. They, they, they're being ridiculous. They're a, uh, when's this going on? Uh, it's going on tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're still being... Ridiculous. They, they, they've told me, oh, you can work with the impossible this year, but you have to sign a four-year deal and then agree not to work with it in the future. And that just, it's just, it, I mean, what kind of ban is that? They're, they're like, <laughs> trying to, it's just true. They want to be controlling and, and, and uh, it, it, it's, it's ridiculous. And uh, I can guarantee that I'm eating hot dogs somewhere on the 4th of July. 
Oh! I, uh, I, I, it's, it's, it, it probably won't be on ESPN. It, and, uh, and, uh, but I, I, I'll be doing something. And it, it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get arrested like Kobayashi. It was a uh, hit man. But, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to be eating hot dogs with a bunch of Americans, that's for sure. I, uh, and I, uh, I, I still, yeah, I, I still love to eat hot dogs, and it's gonna, it's gonna go down on Fourth of July still. Uh, see, Justin, this guy is, this is why he's America. He's the absolute man, and this is why he's my guy. He's always my guy. I appreciate you, Joey. Just hold on the phone one sec. We're gonna.